How is it going there, folks? I'm Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and right here I have a jailbroken iPod. Now you may be wondering, Quinn, why do you have an iPod? I wanna show you something in jailbreaking that I absolutely love that you can somewhat replicate with an application I'm going to show you in a minute. This application right here, this extension in Cydia, which is only available for jailbroken iDevices is called SB Settings. Now it's called Springboard Settings because you can really access the settings panel from anywhere. In any application, you need to change the brightness, just click it and you're ready to go. You can do tons of stuff, turn on Wi-Fi, turn off Bluetooth, see all the processes of the applications, uh, select data, airplane mode, you know, you can toggle all of this settings stuff without ever having to open settings.app. Now, I can't believe that Apple has not yet implemented this with iOS 5. It seems like an absolute no-brainer that in Notification Center, they would put in an ability to toggle airplane mode and Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and major battery consumers that you don't need when you don't need them. However, they have not done this. However, there is a little application I'd like to show you called Icon Project, which essentially allows you to emulate this process. It's not quite as elegant. No, it's not as seamless. No, there's not a gesture that activates it. But if you refuse to jailbreak or you're on iOS 5 where there is not a jailbreak yet, this could be a good alternative. So I've created this folder called Toggles. And for example, let's say I want to view my usage. I click that and boom, it opens. Now it's not as fast, it's not as elegant, however, it does work. Go back to the menu, how about Bluetooth? It takes a second, but then it opens the Bluetooth menu in the settings. Yeah, like I stated, it's not super fast, it's not super elegant, but it is something and it's better than having to dig through the multiple uh, subsets of menus on iOS. So I'm going to show you what this application is all about. Really what it is is just a fancy icon Safari uh, web link editor. Now these, uh, these little shortcuts which you have to use to create these toggles are not specific to this application. They're actually built into iOS. If I go into Safari right here and paste this command which is prefs root and uh, I want to show you the Bluetooth one. All I have to do is click on that and I'm ready to go, right? Now I press go and it opens. So that is not something that this application has created. That's something that's built into iOS. However, this application allows you to truly utilize that and get things rolling if you don't have uh, the ability to create standard icons. So what I'd like to show you is this application called Icon Project and we are going to create uh, a little application here called Wi-Fi. Now what this Wi-Fi toggle is going to do, again, if we were to paste this into uh, the settings application, we would simply, into a Safari rather, we would simply be redirected to settings. But we can't create a very quick Safari toggle for this because there is no ability to do so. However, if we go into this application, which is 99 cents in the App Store, you can do a whole lot more than just the standard cliche. So let's refresh it and make this a totally re, uh, a fresh reset. We're going to entitle this application Wi-Fi rather this toggle. Now this application is not necessarily designed to do this. It does support it and Apple can't really reject this app from the App Store as it's something they built into their OS. However, it is a little bit goofy. So by default, it doesn't allow you to do any of this stuff, or at least it doesn't advertise you the ability to do any of this stuff. You can do uh, like shortcuts to email or call or SMS or FaceTime or what have you, or URLs. However, in order to actually do the settings, uh, you have to paste, uh, you have to select the link type as a URL and then paste the fancy link, uh, which associates with that subset in the preferences menu. All of the commands that you can possibly do are down in the uh, description below. They are case sensitive. So if you are typing them out, be sure to do that or the easiest way is to just copy and paste. Okay, so we have where this icon is going to do go, but this icon is pretty darn ugly. This application allows you to create a bunch of different settings for it. And for example, the way it's outset, I'm not gonna do one of those. Uh, you can choose the color of the background. Uh, there's just tons and tons and tons of stuff you can do. You can do uh, different icons. I already have an icon I have in mind, and these are also included in the uh, box below. These are from an actual SB settings theme that I kind of weaseled. However, uh, what you can do is say choose photo. Uh, in this photo camera roll, I have the Wi-Fi toggle. Uh, it is a little bit goofy, so I'm going to resize it kind of to the best I can. Uh, it's not the best application at resizing stuff, but I'm going to give it a shot. So uh, we'll take that there. That's pretty well even, a little bit. 
we get it as best as I can. And it's very pixelated right now, but when you say choose and it turns into a tiny icon, it looks great. So once we've done that, all we have to do is press create. Now what it's going to do is ask us how it wants us to create it. We're gonna say create because then it opens in Safari. Now the icon has to upload to this uh, company's servers. Um, and then what happens once the icon is uploaded is you press this button and then say add to home screen. And what it allows you to do if you wait a second is keep that Wi-Fi toggle. So we couldn't do this before because it was simply a system level command. Safari could understand it and interpret it, but it couldn't add it to the home screen like a regular web app. This is the application that is 99 cents that allows you to do this and you can create custom icons to suit your fancy. So once we've done that, it will be added to the home screen. I could of course drag this into uh, my fancy folder where uh, I keep all of my toggles. But uh, once you've done that, all you have to do is click it and boom, you are in the settings app under the Wi-Fi toggle. Again, it's not as fast, it's not as elegant as SB settings, but hey, it's something and it's a lot better than digging down in those menus. So once again, the icon is, excuse me, the application is called Icon Project. It's 99 cents in the App Store. A link is below, and this will allow you to give a little bit more ease of use to the toggles on your iOS device. And hopefully in the near future, Apple will natively support this. Thanks so much for listening and watching. And as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks. Two-tone style case. It comes in a couple different colors, white, black, green, as I have here, blue, and pink. Now, this is always a darker. So on the black is the only opposite. The black is...